Hi, I'm Jana Mitchell. I'm from Salt Lake Community College and I'm an assistant professor here in the Surgical Technology Program. Here at Salt Lake Community College, we have two programs. We have an early enrollment program for high school seniors. We also have a traditional program for a traditional college student. In our early enrollment program, students will start um, in our classes at the end of May of their senior year in high school. They'll continue their senior year um, through high school. In the mornings, they will be at their home high schools, and then in the afternoon, they're gonna join us here at the community college to start their sur surgical technology program courses. After they graduate from high school and they turn 18, then we can go ahead and place them in local hospitals and they will be doing real operations with surgeons on real patients. And we will do that for an additional semester and then they will graduate one semester after they graduate from high school, they'll graduate from the college here with the Associates of Applied Science and Surgical Technology. If you're in our traditional program, our traditional program is a three semester program. It starts every May and our college uh, age students will enter into our traditional program. They will do the summer semester um, doing book work. They'll do their fall semester doing uh, book work and lab work. And then um, come the next spring semester, we'll go ahead and place them in hospitals and they will be working with real surgeons doing real surgery on real patients. They'll do one semester of clinical externships and then they'll graduate in May. So for one full school year or, or three college semesters, they will go ahead and graduate as well with their Associates of Surgical Technology in Associates of Science and Surgical Technology for the Community College. My name is Cameron Duvall. I'm here in, uh, at Salt Lake Community College's Surgical Technology Program. I am in my first year of the program and whenever I complete the program, I intend to be a surgical technologist. So what's interested me in becoming a surgical technologist was during my undergraduate degree, I spent three months in the Fijian Islands and doing a medical internship. And while I was there, I got to work with a general surgeon who took me under his wing and uh, taught me some different surgical techniques and uh, introduced me into the field of surgery. And while I was there, I was able to get a firm grasp of what I really wanted to do with this degree and I realized that I wanted to go to different impoverished countries and teach surgical techniques to be able to teach different local community hospitals how to uh, take care of supplies better and be able to save more lives with better surgical techniques. The typical day here as a surgical technology student at Salt Lake Community College begins at eight o'clock in the morning. We first have four hours of lecture um, during the coronavirus pandemic, it's, it's been mostly online as far as the lectures go. And then after your four hours of full lecture, then we can go into the lab and learn uh, clinical skills that we'll use later during our clinical rotations, in which we learn from start to finish on how to open uh, a, a case for surgery and then all the way down to closing. Hi, I'm Tassiana Cordova. I'm a student in the Surgical Technology Program at Salt Lake Community College. Once I get my certification, I plan on working as a surgical technologist and eventually moving on to work in cardiovascular or trauma surgery. So I first became interested in surgery um, a few years ago watching Grey's Anatomy, and it made me want to do trauma surgery. So I became an emergency medical technician in hopes of getting experience doing trauma. And then doing that job, I discovered I do not want to become a nurse. And so surgical technology was the other route uh, to getting me into surgery. I chose surgical technology because the human body is overall fascinating. Uh, the heart itself, I find very intriguing and I'm very excited to go be able to hold one and see it in real time versus on an x-ray and in pictures um, so i'm just very excited for that 